To get started, head over to the SERP API playground and make sure you're on the Google Maps Reviews API. The next step is we need to pass place ID value from the certain place you want to scrape reviews from and pass it to the data ID parameter. If you have a list of URLs, we need to find this value manually by looking inside Google Maps URL of a certain place which is called place ID. It should look like a mess of digits and letters, as you can see on the screen. Extracting place ID data could be done using regular expression, which then will be passed to SERP API data ID parameter. Here's how the basic regular expression would look like. If you don't have a list of URLs, you can have a look and try to use our Google Maps Local Results API, where you can access reviews link hash key that will return a JSON of reviews from a certain place. Basically, you don't have to manually parse anything from a URL. Getting reviews is really easy. All we have to do is to iterate over reviews list and extract needed data from an individual review. To paginate to the next page, we'll be using SERP API pagination hash key, which has a next page token hash key containing next page reviews data. This token is not something magical that SERP API generates on the fly. It's something that we scrape under the hood from Google and returning this value to the user. Getting reviews is really easy. All we have to do is to iterate over reviews list and extract needed data from an individual review. After that, we need to paginate to the next page by checking if the next page is present. And if present, paginate to the next page. Otherwise exit the while loop. And that's basically it. Here's what the output would look like. We want to point out that the current approach of pagination using Python package is a subject of change. It will be more user-friendly in the future. Have a look at Python package to see if pagination has been updated. If you have any questions or confusions, leave us a comment in the comments section, or reach to us at Twitter using AskSERP API hashtag.